Hey guys, in today's video we are looking at 6 interesting new features introduced in Affinity Designer version 2.2 update, so the new update of Affinity Designer version 2. And the first one is that we can now manually move and duplicate objects. So we already know the move tool we find right here in the tools bar. And with this move tool we are able to move and with a shortcut also duplicate objects in Affinity Designer. So for example, we have this square right here. We can select it with the move tool and then move in our document or the signing area. We can hold down command and move to duplicate and move our um, duplicated square. And we can now do both of these steps and more by simply selecting the object with the move tool and then pressing enter on our keyboard. And as you can see now, we then have the possibility to move our object so we can move it horizontally by 100 pixel for example or vertical by 100 pixels or we can only select a distance so we are going to zero zero and then we can select a distance for example 100 pixels and then the angle we want to move it so we had zero degree if we go with 90 we are moving to the top if we go with minus 90 to the bottom of our previous position if we go to zero and right here zero back we are at our starting point and we can also select duplicate to now um, duplicate and move and um, so again we can go with distance 100 and then to the or uh, 300 so we can see it better and then go with angle um, for example 180 degrees or 0 or 90 or minus 90 or of course we can use all of the minus for these steps and um, the positive ones for these steps but minus 90 is the same as 270 degrees as you can see if we go back to 0 and type in 270 it's exactly the same we can also select rotation and we can select the number of duplicates so if we go no go uh, now go with three for example and click OK. We have now three objects duplicated and all in the same steps. So each of them um, the same distance in the same angle to the bottom right here. And we can now delete them and we are back with our starting object. The next new feature is that we can now right click to delete nodes in Affinity Designer. So if we have um, a shape like this shape for example we can click right here and go convert to curve so in our context toolbar to have a curve and with any curve we have nodes we can adjust with our node tool and now we also have the possibility to right click on a node and then go delete node to delete this node before we had to select the node and to uh, use backspace to delete which is of course um, as fast as clicking right click delete or maybe even faster but we now also have the possibility to select some of them go right click and click delete notes or for example hold down shift and select multiple ones and then go right click delete notes and the third new feature is that we have new view modes in affinity designer version 2.2 and we find view modes by going right here to view and then we can select view modes and we now have the new view modes grayscale and height effects which are both very useful so we can first use grayscale as you can see we now have everything in grayscale we can also go view and then go with view mode and go hide effects and that way we have grayscale and also hidden our effects and we can go view mode again and deselect grayscale so we now have um, the colors back but we have our effects hidden as you can see with the top uh, bottom row right here and we can go back again go view mode and go hide effects um, undo and now we are seeing our effects again so um, also um, good to know in the term of view modes is that we can go right here we can then go view mode and we can go split view so we now can select two view modes. So to the left, for example, we can go with the view mode grayscale. To the right, we can go with the view mode um, height effects. And that way we can move them. And we see 
um, on the left only grayscale on the right we are hiding the effects or we could also do one side for example the um, grayscale uh, side we could turn to um, only vector so without um, grayscale we can then um, move to see how our design looks with effects and without effects and to undo the split view we can go to view again and go to view mode and go single view and the next new feature is that we can um, now use um, shortcuts temporary so um, for example the pen tool and other um, tools we have which have a shortcut you can see the shortcut of a tool by hovering over the tool and then in the brackets at the end of the name you see the shortcut for the tool so uh, which uh, um, what this does is for example if we are currently creating circles so we are selecting the circle tool and um, holding down shift to create a perfect circle and we now want to use the pen tool to create a shape but we already know that we want to um, create circles afterwards but don't want to select both tools all the time we can now hold down p and as long as we hold down P, so we need to hold it down, we now can use the pen tool, for example, like this, like this, like this. And the time we are, re we are releasing the um, pressure on our P key on the keyboard, we are back with our circle tool and can keep creating circles. So we can now, for example, give this one right here a color so we can see it better. And you can do this with all of the shortcuts of the um, tools you have in Affinity Designer version 2. And another new feature is that we can change the color of the guides now in Affinity Designer. So um, to show guides, we need to go to view again. And we need to tick on show guides. And to set them, we need to go to guides and we can then add new guides which, which we can adjust right here by um, um, double clicking and typing in for example 200 pixels and 200 pixels and they are currently in the other document we want it right here so we need to go in this artboard again and add those two and for example go 200 and 200 and we can also move them in our document like this and with the move tool and this is our standard color we had with the guides in Affinity Designer and now we can go to view we can go to guides again and we can change the color of single guides by selecting the guide then going to color and then we have the normal possibilities to change the color for example we could go with the color wheel and choose something like this and set it for this one and now you can see that our guides now have this color instead of the um, basic blue color. So this is also a new feature in Affinity Designer version 2.2. And the last new feature I want to show you in this video is that we no now have the possibility to select all objects in a layer with a simple shortcut. So as you can already see right here, the shortcut for Mac users is Shift and command and a and for windows user shift and control and a and now we're going to this artboard and as you can see we have two layers we have the top layer and the bottom layer of this um, isometric island and if we now click on the top layer and we're using this shortcut so shift command and a we are automatically selecting all of the objects inside the same with the other layer with the bottom layer right here so shift command a and we're selecting all of them and by the way if you don't know you can create a new layer by clicking simply right here and then you can add objects into this layer by simply um, selecting the layer and um, creating in your document or if you haven't selected the layer so for example in another layer and um, we can simply move it outside of this layer and inside this layer like this and now we have it in this layer and also good to know is that with the shortcut, we can also select all of the um, objects of the previous selected layer with the shortcut if we're doing something else. So if we have selected the top layer and then we're doing something else like creating a new object, we can again click Shift, Command and A to select all of the objects from the top layer as well as the new created one. So um, every time 
uh, you click this shortcut, you select you're automatically selecting all of the objects of the previous used layer or previous clicked on layer. And yeah, that's gonna do for today's video. If you enjoyed watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully see you in the next video and bye.